Good morning. I'm Sudaksha Punyani, and today I'm presenting Can AR, VR, and Gaming Be the Future of Physiotherapy Education and Training? Well, we'll be discussing introduction, what is AR and VR, need, what is immersive VR therapy and its application in physical therapy, discussion, and conclusion. Well, to begin with, augmented reality, that is AR, and virtual reality, VR, are becoming popular in almost all the sectors. However, there is a huge gap when it comes to medical sciences and physical therapy. How much involvement of technology can one expect in fields such as physiotherapy? Well, you might be surprised to know the answer is a lot. From tele-rehabilitation to immersive VR therapy and gamification of physiotherapy, the options are endless. One of the major advantages of technology is that it attracts nearly all ages, young as well as adults. From one year old infant to 70 years old man, each one of us is attracted to technology. Idea of VR games as a part of rehabilitation is one of the most exciting method of rehabilitation one could only think of. During COVID-19 pandemic, everything including studies and medical sciences came to a halt. While doctors and pharmacists rushed to provide absolute best healthcare, the studies of healthcare sciences faced a setback. Why? Because of inadequate tools to conduct classes. All the other sectors like engineering, um, arts, commerce were able to conduct classes online. But the question that arose was, how can students of fields such as physiotherapy and medical sciences, which require extensive exposure to human bodies, study and grasp concepts without offline and physical approach to studies. Physi physiotherapy curriculum includes subjects like human anatomy, physiology, kinesiotherapy, electrotherapy, which essentially require practical performance. Taking these practical classes online is similar to taking car driving lessons through an online meeting while sitting on a couch. Some of them might even be sleeping. Here's where the importance of inclusion of AR and VR in health sciences becomes a necessity. So what is AR? Well, by definition, it, will, it is the improvised version of the real life created with the aid of technology in order to overlay the digital data and information on some image that is being seen through mobile or any other smart device. Well. To give you an example, I'm sure you've heard of LensCart. What does it do? It takes your image and puts their frames and lenses onto your face. Well, that is one of the best examples of AR in use. Now, what is VR? Well, it is a virtual environment that is that can be experienced via sensory stimuli, via sounds or sights. Basically, you create a virtual world. I'm sure you must have heard of Minecraft or definitely Metaverse. Well, these are prime examples of VR in use. High graphic games, even GPS maps use VR and AR to create a virtual realistic world where one can, through actions, change the environment, making it feel more realistic than normal videos and pictures. This is now being applied to games and educational software for physiotherapy so that these can be utilized to create real life setting for students to practice and practically perform what they read in their textbooks. This of course increases their ability to understand their concepts well. Now, switching to VR resources for education used in subjects such as human anatomy is one of the best possible uh, methods to teach human anatomy. It gives you access to all three dimensions without any repulsive sight or smell of the cadavers and one can even perform dissection. The software can be fed with information of all sorts of dissection tools and their functioning. 
so that the device works in exactly the same manner as the real life dissection. So that brings us to what is the need for AR and VR in physical therapy? Well, the obvious answer to that is to update the conventional practices to match up with the speed with which the other sectors are growing. Students are unable to get proper practical knowledge through cadavers either due to their repulsive smell or due to its lack of availability. Uh, many a times when there is lack of availability of cadavers or donors, uh, 50 to 100 students have to practice on one cadaver. Lack of resources will always be the primary cause for scandals to go unnoticed. One such example occurred way back in the 19th century when dissection was declared compulsory for all medical students. Lack of cadavers and body donors permitted the infamous scandal of work and hair to occur. These serial killers were able to murder almost 16 people. Well, you have definitely seen these work and hair in Munna Bhai MBBS. Now, coming to Physical training sessions also came under a lot of scrutiny during the pandemic. Checking for range of motion, flexibility, tightness of muscle, posture correctness can be difficult to assess through camera during tele-rehabilitation. Well, AR and VR can definitely be promising solutions for such a problem. According to a research, gamification of physiotherapy with the help of AR and VR has proved to bring more effective, promising and efficient results as compared to conventional practices. Patients feel more enthusiastic about the therapy and it boosts their willpower. It helps patients to know their progress and motivates them to achieve higher levels in the game, which ultimately leads to overall progress in the patient. Virtual assessments of, of patients can be done with inbuilt sensors as well as simulators that are sensitive to touch, pressure and movements. So what is immersive VR therapy and its application in physical therapy? Immersive VR therapy is the use of interactive simulators along with immersive environments for psychological or physical healthcare applications. For example, the patient can be of stroke, lying on bed in hospital setting. And using immersive VR therapy, we immerse the patient psychologically into some other setting, say Hogwarts. Now, the patient might want to move in order to move the wand. Well, that is pretty much how immersive VR therapy works. Using such simulators, patients can experience and perform movements, and it can be used for both educating as well as a clinical training. While physical contact might seem necessary for making assessments in clinical practice, and even for educational purposes in physiotherapy, it is not really an absolute requirement. Using the very first example of learning to drive a car, one can actually learn driving safely with the help of AR, VR games and simulators. Then one's confident practicing it on roads. This is exactly what driving schools are doing nowadays. So why not apply the same in healthcare colleges where the chances of boredom to set in are usually higher? Every coin has two sides though. One of the major drawbacks of AR-VR is that it is too expensive. Moreover, not sufficient research and data has been collected upon it. Also, it may require regular testing, which is uh, fairly higher than required for the conventional modalities that are being used. So, also, another hindrance is that the patients are often afraid of such appliances and AR, VR game sets. Moreover, the patients may have a mindset that medical procedures and physical therapy routines are meant to be boring so that they are effective. Thus, believing that if the therapy is exciting, it is not a therapy at all. This may lead to reverse placebo effect, that they may consider that the therapy is not effective. So one can only conclude that even though VR, AR, and gaming do have an edge over the conventional practices in the aspect of interest and efficiency, their conventional use is very limited 
and much research needs to be done. Yet, one can consider gamification of physiotherapy and practice, especially if concentration and willpower be the ones that require building. I would like to conclude with Bill Gates' quote that I believe innovation is the most powerful force for change in the world. Thank you.